Now more than ever, women really are in control of their household's financial assets. So it's a really good time to start educating yourself on what those top financial planning considerations are. Hi, my name is Mallory Labick. I'm a financial advisor at Fregasso Financial Advisors, and I help women in developing their financial plan. I have five different topics prepared for you today. Just keep in mind, this is really a stepping stone. Um, each one of these topics will vary in complexity depending on you and your situation. So the first topic we'll talk about today is investment management. Historically speaking, unfortunately, women have not invested as much as men, which can have a detrimental impact on their ability to save for their long-term goals because they're not allowing their assets to grow at an appropriate rate. Uh, and good news, that figure has changed quite a bit and women are investing more and more. When it comes to investment management, however, regardless of if you're a man or a woman, it can be very overwhelming. A lot of folks are unsure of what exactly they should be investing in, in terms of funds, stocks, bonds. But not only that, also the types of accounts they want to be investing in, making sure that they're saving as tax efficiently as they can and as appropriately as they can for their specific situation. So the second topic we'll talk about today is retirement planning, which can be a very big topic. What you really want to start asking yourself is what exactly your retirement goals are. And that can be both short term and long term that you include in these types of projections. But the bigger things that you hear are when exactly do you want to retire? How much do you want to be able to spend in retirement? Um, do you have any bigger goals? For instance, maybe you want to move out of state or purchase a second home. And once you have those goals established, then you want to start considering, what am I doing in order to meet those goals? Am I saving enough? Am I saving in the appropriate vehicles? And if not, what changes you can make today in order to meet the, those goals? Again, this is another complex topic and can be very difficult for you to answer on your own. And that's where we can step in and provide actual cash flow projections that sh show you exactly what your financial lifetime looks like. Again, we can show you if you are or maybe you aren't meeting your goals, which does happen and is okay because the earlier you come to us, the more changes we can make. Estate planning is our third topic, which has always been an important planning consideration for women. You know, historically speaking, women have um, been more charitably inclined and they've had more specific goals when it comes to leaving assets to their heirs. Um, as your assets continue to accumulate throughout your career, your estate plan may become more and more complex, which is why it's crucial that you work with a professional, an estate attorney, in developing that estate plan. Not only will you want to consider the basics, you know, getting your wills in place, powers of attorney, potentially some trust, but you want to consider your current assets and your potential tax efficiencies that you can incorporate into your plan. Are there potential inheritance or estate taxes that could come into play? And is there a way to help save your non-spouse heirs an income tax down the road by saving in a different type of vehicle today? And again, if you wanna work with a professional on this, I do recommend working with not only a financial advisor, but an estate attorney. Our fourth topic today is protection for your family. Unfortunately, I think we're all very well aware of the risks uh, potentially becoming disabled, passing away, or ending up in a long-term care facility. And these risks can have a very significant impact on not only you, but your family's assets as well. Um, as women, I think we all have uh, a specific desire to take care of our families. And this is when you want to start considering if an insurance policy is appropriate for you, what type of policy is appropriate for you, and then of course, the amount of that policy. You also want to consider if maybe one policy can meet many of your goals at one time instead of incorporating several different options. So the fifth and final topic we'll talk about today is education planning. And as I've stated before, women do tend to have a very firm focus on taking care of their family members. So one of the biggest goals I hear is funding for potential education costs. It could be for their children, their grandchildren, or anybody they care about. And when you're considering this, you do want to you want to think about: Do I want to fully fund those costs? What exactly those costs are? Um, do I want? How much do I have to save for those costs? And then finally, the type of account you want to save into. So these are just five of our top planning considerations to start with for women. If you're really looking to develop a financial plan that includes absolutely everything, I do recommend reaching to a financial advisor here at Fregasso where we can start working on you and your specific goals.
Thanks for your time. Yeah.